No, I wanted the grilled cheese, not the pastrami, you moron. Oh, oh, hi, um, this is Billy Core from CarolinaCircleMall.org. It's uh, Thursday, March 22nd, 2012. And this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Um, let's say um, you have a bunch of old Windows 3.1 games and programs that you want to run, and you're in a nostalgic mood, but you don't, but you're not near your Packard Bell or your Gateway 2000 or, or your any of your old computers. Well, with DOSBox, you can indeed do that. Now with DOSBox, um, you may already know that you can run any DOS program or game flawlessly on your main computer. Well, since Windows 3.1 is also a, an application for DOS, technically, you can also run it on DOSBox perfectly, and you, which will allow you to run pretty much any Windows 3.1 application or game under DOSBox. Now, a few programs that require Share.exe will not run, such as um, Office, Microsoft Office 4.3, 4 that will not run at all. So you will have to forego that. So um, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna first. What you need to do is you need to have a directory somewhere on your physical hard drive for the DOSBox files to live. Now this will include your Windows 3.1 setup files and such, and I've already done that on my computer. I'll show you right now. I got it in a little folder here on the root directory of my C drive called DOSBox. And see I got a few DOS games as well as the Windows 3.1 setup files which are here in this folder. So yes, you will need your Windows 3.1 setup disk for this, but you can just copy all of them and put them in one folder. It's a lot easier that way. And I've also got um, the S3 video drivers that DOSBox requires, as well as the Sound Blaster 16 drivers, which DOSBox emulates. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now we're but now we have DOSBox open. The first thing we need to do is we need to mount the DOSBox file directory. Now for me at least what we'll have to do is type in mount c c colon slash DOSBox. You can change that second C to whatever drive you have it on. Okay now it's mounted. Now we'll switch to the C drive. And now we're going to type in cd win311 setup and here we are into the setup utility now um admittedly i am using windows for work groups 3.11 not um you may be using something else but um this is pretty much the same thing so we're going to hit enter to continue and it's going to give you two options here express setup or custom setup since we're doing it differently by using dosbox it's best just to use the custom setup, so we'll press C for that. Okay, and it's going to ask you what directory you, you want to install Windows in. And um, I just recommend using the, de the default one. Now, don't install your S3 video driver yet. For whatever reason, it does not work with the Windows 3.1 setup program, so we we'll have to skip that for now, so we'll press Enter. And now it's going to install the files. This may take a while depending on your computer. It's going to take a while for me since I'm recording the screen. So we'll just have to wait. I may pause the video. Okay, now it's updating the and analyzing various files. This will take about a minute or so. Losing my voice today, huh? And we'll just tell it to proceed.
OK, and it says software installation is completed. And I now know not to hit F10 to reboot because that will end the recording and I will be very, very, very mad. <laughs> so um, I'm going to hit enter to exit. And I'm going to type change directory C Windows. Oops. Change directory C Windows. And we're going to see if all our hard work is paid off. So we're going to type WIN. And it is working perfectly. Except for the mouse for some reason. <laughs> so maybe I do have to um, close out a DOS box temporarily. Okay, now we'll type in. Now I got to remount it. Hold on here. Now, um, let's say you want to install a computer game on Windows 3.1 that's from a CD-ROM. Well, that's quite simple. You can either do it one of two ways. You can use your physical CD-ROM or an ISO image. Now, for this experiment, we're going to be using a physical CD. It's a little bit easier. And we're going to install good old Putt Putt Ghost in the Moon since it's a simple program and it's easy to install. Put it in the disk drive here. Wait for it to load. It's probably gonna the auto run on Windows 7 is probably gonna interrupt it in a second. Uh, go away. Okay. In order to do this, we're gonna type in mount D and then whatever drive your CD-ROM is mine will be D colon slash space dash T space CD-ROM and messy Dex is now installed um, that's how it really is pronounced and drive D is mounted as CD-ROM D so we're going to go back into Windows 3.1 and hope that the mouse is now working. And the mouse is now working. So I'm going to close out of this program group. Now you can do it one of two ways. We can go to File Run or we can go to File Manager. But for old school sake, let's do File Manager. Okay, we can see we got four drives here. We got the A drive. C drive, the D drive, which is the CD-ROM, and the Z drive, and that's where all the DOS box files are, which you can just ignore that. So we're going to go to D, 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 CD-ROM, double-click install. Okay, and welcome to Putt Putt Ghosts in the Moon. We're going to go to quick install. Boy, that logo brings back memories, huh? <laughs> Okay, Putt Putt Goes to the Moon has been successfully installed. Don't forget to send in your registration card. You'll receive a free subscription to the Junior Adventurers Club newsletter. It's chock full of fun activities and games. And believe it or not, I actually was a member of that club back in the 90s. And I did get those newsletters, which I wish I hadn't thrown away. <laughs> Okay, and thank you for installing Pup Pup Goes to the Moon. We're going to, to restart Windows now. Okay, now we're going to see if Pup Pup Goes to the Moon will run. Double click it. Oh boy, do you remember this. <laughs> your program is testing for optimal display performance so it will look its best on your system. It's kind of a. It. It looks like 
something you would see in a doctor's office. Ugh. This will take just a minute. I hope I'm not boring you guys. <laughs> but if I am, please don't let me know. No rude comments. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just going to test the CD-ROM speed, but since this is a brand new SATA DVD burner, that took no time at all. <laughs> and it looks like it, the game worked. The I remember this song. And when you get to your life, I'm so fun, but we hope you'll come back soon. We're glad that you're happy, but cut the take it's happy, but come back from the moon. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. I'm so excited. Mr. Firebird invited Pep and me to the fireworks factory. I bet this is going to be a great day. As you can see, everything is running perfectly just as if it were an actual Windows 3.1 computer. Okay, we'll go ahead and close out of this. And there you go, this is Windows 3.1, or Windows for Work Groups 3.11, running on DOSBox, and it's pretty much just like any other Windows 3.1 computer. It even flawlessly emulates Sound Blaster FM synthesis, as I will demonstrate right here. The classic Canyon file. Love that song. And clock works perfectly. Very strange seeing the year 2012 being displayed on <laughs> Windows 3.1. And you can change a few settings like the um, wallpaper. For me, if I'm using a plain old copy of Windows 3.1 without any Packard Bell software, typically I just use the arcade tile wallpaper. You know, I guess that's enough for today. That is indeed Windows 3.1 run, running on DOSBox just perfectly. And if you're still asleep, this is if if you're if you, if you haven't fallen asleep, this is Billy Core signing off.